How's it going everyone? So real quick, I want to show you how to create a jump throw bind in CS2. If you're like me and you've used jump throw binds for thousands of hours, it's kind of hard to get used to not using one. So let's get right into it. So um, in your Steam library, you want to right click on CSGO, go to properties and then installed files. And in the top right, you want to click this browse button. That's going to open up your CSGO program files. And inside of those, there's this new folder called game. And that is actually your CS2 program file. So you want to go into this, go into the CSGO folder under game. And then in that, there's a CFG folder. So you double click that and here we are, we have all these random configuration files. Um, we don't really care about these, but we're gonna copy one of them just to get the file type. We don't care about what's inside it. I'll just grab this competitive 2v2. I think that's probably wingman. Um, we'll go ahead and paste that. And now we have this competitive game mode, competitive 2v2 copy. So let's rename that to jump throw. As simple as that. So we're gonna open that up. And inside it, you're gonna see a bunch of gibberish that you don't care about. Control A, backspace, and here is what we're gonna put in. We're gonna go plus jump, minus attack, minus attack two, and minus jump, and save that. That is your jump throw. Um, so we'll go ahead and close that, and now we open up CSGO, and we're just gonna bind it, as simple as that. So open up the console and type in bind space, whatever key you want. I like to use H and then space and then in quotes, we're going to type in exec jump throw. And it's as simple as that. All right, so let's test it out. Just like before, you can just pull out your smoke grenade, hold left click. And then once you press H, it'll just jump through for you on the perfect timing every single time. Thanks for watching and hope this helped.